Now it's time to finish what I started last part. This is it, folks. The last mark of the game. It's time for the final showdown with Gilgamesh. Only one part. So bring it, bitch! I love this battle! But once again, take the mutt out. And dispel them too. Because this fight is going to be harder than what it was the first time. Notice all of my levels are at level 67. I have a good reason for this. You see, Gilgamesh, aside from being stronger now, has the audacity to have level stats ailments. Like level 3 disable, or level 4 break, or level 2 sleep. See, the only reason why my stats are, well my levels are 67, is because 67 does not fall into the multiples of 2, 3, and 4. So take that, Gilgamesh! That's one less thing you have to worry about. Oh, and once again, I told you that Gilgamesh is immune to all bad stats. That right there is just proof. Try your best to get rid of this mod because instead of just waiting till a cutscene to say flying Kidu, he'll immediately use it. And he'll strengthen in Kidu. And on top of that, that stupid mutt. Oh my god! This mutt. This freaking mutt. Once he's out the battle, the battle will be more enjoyable. Yeah. Excuse me one second. Sorry, I had to let the cat out. Damn it! But anyway... Enkido's almost dead. He's just delaying the inevitable. Oh, and time to correct myself yet again. You see, last episode, I thought I missed out on the Genji helmet. It was the Genji shield I missed out on. Fuck! God damn! I can't believe it! I missed out on the best show. Oh, yeah, that's right. He does this too. And he also does a new move called Now in Kidu. Which strengthens in Kidu. Oh, you're about to see why in Kidu should be out of this battle as quickly as humanly possible. See Crushing Fangs? Crushing Fangs have the tendency to do this. That dirty bastard. Damn, the dog's not dead yet. Even after that, the dog's not dead. Aw, oh, crap. Aw, oh, crap, he just gave him more... Son of a bitch! He just brought back his stats! That's okay. This battle's still great. We can still kick that ass. So long as we get rid of the mutt first. Yes! So now we have a free turn because he did that. So now we're gonna have to pay attention. Uh oh. Yeah, do yourself a favor and try to get rid of Gilgamesh's stats as quickly as humanly possible. 
but at the same time, put some good buffs on yourself. Because at this point, Gilgamesh will be hitting for almost two grand! Just normal attacks! And once again, I laugh at his status ailment attacks. Because there's nothing he can do, as far as that's concerned. See if I'd have leveled up one more, then I'd be fucked. Because not only I'd be affected by level 3, but level 4 as well. This is a huge step up from the last time I took him on. Oh crap, now he's starting to pull out swords. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Aura Calcum he just pulled out. And with that, he could pull off moves like this! Which is by far so awesome! Even though he's destroying me! But s Oh, sweet! He's doing it again! Even though he's destroying me, that move is still freaking cool. Oh, be careful also. With that new sword, he can now petrify you. So now he has Squall, Cloud... Wait, he already has the Escalapur. And he has... Now the Orichalcos. And I think that was... No, actually, I think that was Bart's weapon. Either way... That nasty little sword will do a number on you. And there's no need to sacrifice bubble belts for any protection against stone. Because... So long as you're at an odd level... Up, oh, here we go. This is a Scalabur. I thought it was a Turner Saw, but it's a Scalabur. And when he pulls that out... Get ready to steal. Unlike last time, this time I will actually steal some Genji armor parts. Now, the Excalibur looks like the Turnasol, but it's not, because the Turnasol may have a sun shape but have a moon crest in the middle of it with stars. The Excalibur just looks like a and Burr looks like a straight sun. So now that we got that out the way. I want to tell you a little something about another rendition of Gilgamesh I saw on YouTube. The Final Fantasy XIII version. He starts off with guns and a rocket launcher! The fuck? Did he beat Nora for those things? Steal as many times as you can. Ha! Got the Genji Helm! Now, now that I got the Genji Helm, it's time to proceed with the beatdown. Yeah, but seriously, the fuck, bro? 13-2, he has guns, and doesn't pull out the guns until after you beat him the first time. Then the second time, he has his trademark swords, or replicas of swords. Oh wait, now that I think about it, that sword he pulled before the Excalibur, that actually was Odin's sword. Now that I think about it, silly me, and I call myself a fan of Final Fantasy. Anyway, he pulls out his swords, right? But in 13-2, he has 9 million HP. 9 million 9,000, no, 9 million 999,999 compared to 453,000 in this game. And plus, Gilgamesh heals himself after every stagger. Oh my. And every move he does will wound your characters. So yeah, Gilgamesh is a lot harder in that game than what he is in this one. I may be making this look easy, but there are other LPRs I know that came in with even number or multiple numbers of 
Level. Oh, snipe. He's doing it again. And by the look of my skin, he missed this time. Because that would have basically took me out. Yeah, I see other up here do fight with his stats, but... Now, here's where the real challenge begins. Once he pulls this sword out, the Dragon Blade, he'll put up perfect defense and will not drop it until he does Monarch Sword twice. And at the same time, he gives himself buffs. Again. Okay, that's the first Monarch Sword. Oh, and depending on what level, this is instant death. Thankfully, we have our protection. Because otherwise, Panella would have died. Yeah, you might as well attack him and pretty much do something to keep yourself alive. Because at this point, he's immune. Again. Yes. Immunity until it wears off can be pretty lame. But I'll excuse it because it's Gilgamesh. No, it's another boss that this shit's lame to. As a matter of fact, it's one of the last bosses I have to face before the storyline. Nonetheless... Just buff your characters, do whatever you can, because the next Monarch Sword may hurt whatever character he's targeting. And I think Monarch Sword is like Skate. Except for one thing. Uh, Monarch Sword... Sometimes miss. Yeah, Skate will never miss. But Monarch Sword sometimes miss. The first time I played against Gilgamesh, he hit me and he hit one of my characters, killed him the first time. But the second Monarch Blade, he missed. He completely freaking missed. And it was freaking lucky. Oh, see, he's going to do it again. So who's he going to do it to this time? By the way, that's an epic attack. Oh, sweet lord. He hit Ash. Good. I thought for a second that he was going to hit Pinello. Okay, now that the Monarch Swords happened and the perfect defense dropped, steal from him now. This is where you get the best, well, one of the best armors in the game. Other than the Grand Armor. And the Maximilian. It's the Genji Armor, and that Genji Armor is actually one of the best armors in the game because... Not because of its defensive stats, but because of the fact that it'll allow you to do more combos. In fact, the Genji Armor saved me from Yizmat! Ha! First try, what do you know? I was about to go on a uh, reminiscence of how the Genji Armor helped me, and lo and behold, I got it on the first try. So now with that said... Let's kick his ass and end possibly one of the most epic battles in this game. No, actually, it's the most epic battle. What am I kidding? But from here on in, Gilgamesh will combo like there's no tomorrow, which can and will kill your characters. At the same time, he'll also raise his defense. Also get rid of those buffs too. He don't need those buffs. Try your best to expose, to drop his health a little bit more, whatever. And now Gilgamesh will also parry more.
But from here on in, it's just a one-on-one -on -one fight to the finish. And to some of you people out there in YouTube land who say, Hey, you me, man. Just use the quickening to end this fight. No! I don't want to use the quickening to end this fight. This fight does not deserve to end on a quickening. This fight's too badass! Besides, I did that the first time. Anyway... Once again, be careful of the stats. Because I think one of Gilgamesh's shorts cast slow on you as well as stone. And sap, if I'm not mistaken, yes. And plus he does this too. Yikes. He's almost dead. Well, he's almost beaten. Gilgamesh can never die, even in five. Only thing X-Death did was allow him to break the fourth wall. That's all. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, how rude of me. Looks like my medicine's working at the wrong time. But I'm so happy that it's... Oh, shit. Did you see that? Freaking four hit combo. Wow. Honestly, folks, with the best armor and the best weapons you got, this guy can still be hard. And with three fourths of a strategy pretty much taken out, which would be in Kidu and his bad stat spells he has been slain as of now I said as of now thank you and to that I say goodbye to one of the best battles in this game I keep saying that it's the best battle of the game and then IE is also epic too well, that's it, folks. The marks are done. All that are left is the espers. Yeah! Now let's leave this place. Actually, not quite yet. I want to switch the leader right quick. Because I want to show you guys a little something. Well, yeah, sure. Buff each other first. Yeah, yeah. Put buffs on yourselves, whatever. Get it over with. Yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Because I want to show something important to the fans. Sorry, by the way, this battle took so long. So... Even though that blade is the Dragon Blade from Dragon Legends 1 and 2, it looks like an ordinary sort of legend. But keep watching, folks. <laughs> Look at Ash's expression! <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking epic. Oh, I love this battle. Best battle ever. But let's go on ahead and go to Rabinaster. Now to claim the reward for the best fight ever. And trust me, it's one of the best katana blades ever. So give me all your money, Moogle. I'm not in the mood. I only have to look at your face one more time, and that's after I beat Zodiac. Yes, I'm doing him last. Before the storyline. <coughs> Excuse me. 
we get the Masamune, the best katana in the game, at 10,000 gil. Man, the Masamune is the weapon that I use to beat the crap out of Yes Matt. And many of the other villains in the RV Man LP exhibition. But, folks, we're nearing the end. All that's left are two espers. Much to my dismay, they're in the two places that I don't like the most. And I'll be taking on Ultima in part 144. This is RV Man 985. It's just two unenjoyable fights until I get to the storyline to finish the game. See you guys next time.